Magandang araw mga kaibigan, ang kasama natin ngayon is sa aming nga veterano, mahusay at premyadong choreographer. Yung choreographer yung nagbibigay uh, ng instructions ng mga dancers kung paano yung mga, kung paano sila kikilos. Mga kaibigan, walang iba pang busy is Denisa Reyes. Magandang araw po sa inyo. Hello. Hi. At uh, tungkol sa ngayon Pilipino, ano ito? Ano yung mga konsepto ng tibak ito na, na, na isinilang? New Filipino started in fact in New York City a long time ago long 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 time ago 1984 yes I thought about it because I was unemployed in New York mm -hmm. artist I was taking classes I was working in restaurants as a waitress unemployed and then there are several other Filipino friends like Floyd Arsenas um, Elizabeth Rojas, these are all, we're all unemployed and we thought, let's get productive instead of getting depressed during winter time and wala kaming, we weren't employed, period. And we had auditions and we didn't get into auditions, pero magaling kami lahat. So ginawa ko, I pulled everyone together from production design, dancers, <coughs> musicians, composers. Let's call it Neo Filipino. So we collaborated um, dance and theater and visual arts and did Neo Filipino. Five different works, but I choreographed all. Okay. It was quite successful. We got uh, Filipino, no, uh, Filipino uh, doctors, and they wanted to help. And we did it in downtown New York. With that, when I was invited to choreograph with Bali Philippines, I asked CCP, could I, could you give me a grant and can we do Neo Filipino? But this time with local artists in Manila. Okay. Uh -oh. So I did a new set of five works, collaborating again with um, Lucrecia Casilag in, in music, Agnes Arellano, visual arts, mm -hmm. Sina during that time. Um, Non and Padilla Theater, and so we put again, uh, we put again a whole concert that started Neo Filipino, and that was 1986, and then it became part of Ballet Philippines um, as the as the part as a program for contemporary dance. It was very edgy, it was very experimental, it was really um, mixing dance with the different um, art forms. Very, means that it doesn't work, means that it works, but it's good to have that, right? To, mm -hmm. to introduce new things. So, um, 2015, I asked CCP again, could you take um, uh, Neo Filipino in as part of the CCP program for dance? And Chris Villado, the artistic director, said, yeah, let's do it. So, this is part of a um, three three-part program for contemporary dance. This time, in Bina ko ko choreograph, as I told you, it's young choreographers who I thought should be given the opportunity to, ano sila naman, you know, to be able to validate their talents at the CCP, at the Culture Center. So this is ongoing for uh, every year, annual. So how do you assess uh, the, the new choreographers? The new They're wild. Oh, so, uh, 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 yeah. Iba ang, kanilang, iba ang kanilang mundo from where we came from. Iba, because we have social media, they're very well informed, they're research-based. Daming i-research and they just go on YouTube. Uh -huh. Yun. And then, um, kami ni Myra, my co-director, we mentor them about the craft of composition, of making dances. Para, we just guide them. Para hindi lang movements, pero merong craft, merong... Um, there's a set fundamental rules of how to make dance accessible to an audience, a dance audience. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how do you plan to um, make the audience uh, familiar, more uh, understanding of uh, the contemporary That's a good point, uh, correct. dance? Well, you know, um, dance is fleeting. Kasi it's not like um, uh, uh, um, it's not like a painting where you can look at it for a long, long time and understand it and absorb it. And dance, as soon as you come in, you watch it and then it's finished, fleeting, right? Buti na lang ngayon, meron na nga videos. We need people like you to help us 
bring in the audience. And when the audience is there, there is something about the movement itself in space na mas kina hindi na naiintindihan. I think there's a, a symbiotic relationship. It, it brings out the soul. If the choreography is merong na, na, na hihigot dun sa sayaw. So, depende din sa choreographers yun. If they're honest, if they are well um, researched on kung anong gusto nilang sabihin, kung ang statement nila ay klaro, not like film. Ang film may script eh. Ito talagang, it's all for the taking. So, how did you choose the choreographers to be involved in the show? Uh, considering that you said that uh, you want to be in or you're part of the So, paano nyo na-control yun yung discipline na gusto nyo nangyari? You know, a lot of them are older. We have now, um, Bachelor of, uh, uh, in, in universities, there are three schools that you can graduate and major in dance. Mm -hmm. So, sila, tinuturoan sila in, in college, it's a course. Composition, dance composition is a course. And then some of them naman may talent talaga, innate talent of wanting to say something, expressing themselves. And kung kulang ng konti pa sa storytelling, we have a, we, we, we Mayra and I help them, there's a tra dramaturg that we hire. Yun. Um, ikaw, yeah. ikaw bilang isang bitanan ng uh, choreographer dancer, ano ang uh, appeal mo sa ating mga Pilipino, sa mga mananood na Pilipino na gustong uh, malaman at uh, ma-appreciate lalo ang uh, larangan at sinin ng saya. Anong pwede mong mag appeal sa kanila? Um, well, as I said nga, um, dance is the expression of the human soul. So, I know now, mas madaling mag-Netflix, mas madaling mag-browse no, no, mag, uh, with your phone. I think there's something very, uh, very precious about, uh, no, about watching the sweat of the dancer, the physicality, the... Um, that the, sometimes a statement of, of a dancer kung meron gusto sabihin tukos sa ating bayan o anong ang, as a Filipino um, artist kung anong gusto niya sabihin kung galit man ba or masaya or even about love you know uh, young 26 year old met what you will see today their boyfriend girlfriend and maybe something about their you know it's all about human expression nga eh pang millennial ba yan? Pang millennial, oo, hindi na nga kami. <laughs> yeah. So we really like to support them and they're, they're abs they, the way they absorb, they're very hungry to absorb um, information and knowledge. Mm -hmm. right. So paano mayroon sila pinili itong mga kodyog person? Magaling na sila. They are already, they have already a body, bodies of work. Kami dalawa ni Mayra, pumupunta kami sa UP to watch their thesis, to watch their, um, they're already choreographing for musicals. Nandun na, this is more established choreographers, so they know pretty much. Inaangkat lang namin para ma-invita sila siguro sa Bali, Philippines, in the main theater. Dito muna sa Little Theater to eh, so parang stepping stone towards doing a full-length, full-length ballet. Why not? Kung meron naman talent ang bata, no? Or um, invited to events, you know, there's a lot of things going on, di ba? They need choreographers. Choreography is very important in all these events mm -hmm. to get dancers as part of the you know, singing. Merong, merong theater, pero may dancing always. Dance is so crucial to entertainment. Okay. So, isang tanong na lang. Okay. Uh, you you talk about uh, uh, subject about uh, nationalism, like for country patriotism in yes. dance, no? Yes. Uh, so, palagay mo sa ating mga manunood ngayon. Uh, ano ang iyong uh, masasabi sa papel ng sayang ng dance para umundad ang bayan? Well, first of all, as we all know, napakamaraming talent na Filipino dancers. I mean, we are all over the world winning awards, right? Competitions. Hip-hop groups, ang Philippine hip-hop groups are always winners. And it's innate na in our bodies. Eh. Alam mo Filipino, the ones who are indigent kids are the ones who are just ang lakas ng kanilang spirit, you know, when they're dancing. I'm sure you've seen them already. 
also support our young dancers. Um, they don't really get much compensation, unfortunately. Maybe, uh, hopefully, the government can, well, we have the National Commission on Culture and Arts, NCCA, with, uh, we encourage them to get grants, and then they get compensated. I mean, CCP is, this is a grant. So CCP gives us enough to be able to produce these four choreographers. We support, um, feel proud of uh, the talent of the Filipino. And I think with their expression, it's kapwa eh. Pagkakapwa din yan, di ba? Uh, be there for the young ones and what they want to say. That's all I can really um, plead. Maraming salamat, Ms. Maraming Ms. Reyes. Salamat. Yeah, Congratulations. Talking. Good luck. Thank you very much and thank you for being here and supporting.